Hey guys, this is Emily Comacher. Um, I My first exercise was kind of short. I had uh, page 271, um, number 35, so this is my solution to that. Um, it asks for this definite integral to describe the region that is bounded by it, um, and so I kind of think of these upper and lower limits as kind of the left hand and right hand boundary. So um, I went ahead and wrote those as inequalities. So the the lower bound um, negative one is kind of represented by the line um, x is greater than or equal to negative one, and then the upper bound is x is less than or equal to one. Um, the equation in here, 7 minus x squared, that's kind of a parabolic shape um, of y is less than or equal to 7 minus x squared, and then it's also bound by the positive, um, or by the, by the x-axis, um, which is the line y is greater than or equal to 0. So all four of those bounding areas um, make what the area of that indif indefinite integral is finding. Um, so kind of as I went through um, Desmos, just so you guys can see, um, I use Desmo Desmos for some things and GeoGebra for some others. So um, as you just, just so you can kind of see how this um, falls into play with each of the two lines. So here's your lower bound um, shading to the right and your upper bound shading to the left. So now we have a combined area inside of here. Um, when we go ahead and put our function, or well, when, let's go ahead and put the bottom part in first. So now we have the area bounded by that, um, that x-axis again, and then as soon as we put our function in, that really just gives us the last piece of it, um, and then that shaded in area is the, um, is the overall area of our, of our definite integral. So that's the conclusion of my exercise, and there we go.